Cool. All right, so we're back around two of Strixhaven School of Mages, and interestingly, I counted up the rares that I pulled out of that first 10 packs, and I got 18 rares and mythics. That seems ridiculous to me. I don't think that's like very similar to opening a collector's booster, I guess, as far as uh, rares and mythics are concerned. And out of the 10 packs, I did actually get 12 of the um, uh, spell archive cards. So I'm two ahead on that as well. So that that's pretty impressive. I'm, I'm excited to see what round two has, has for us here. So here we go. All right. Some stuff. And Killian. This guy, actually, he's uncommon, but... I think there's potential for this dude as a commander. Uh, two mana, two mana, two mana, two two lifelink menace. Spells you cast that target a creature costs two less to cast. Um, I feel like he has a very feathery feel to him, and with the uh, oh, I cast this spell and now I get this magecraft trigger. I feel like this this dude's going to be really cool. I, I think you, you might see him in commander uh, soon. He's also like different for a. Uh, an Orzov commander, and he wants to fight because he want he's you know he's gonna he's probably gonna be big. You might Voltron him out since he's got menace and lifelink. So and the spells you target him with will most likely be buff spells. So keep an eye out for Killian. I think he's gonna be a very cool uncommon commander. All right, so starting off with another mythic, uh, eco ecological appreciation. So it's one green, two, and X. Search a library and graveyard for up to four different creature cards with different names, and each have mana value X or less, and reveal them. An opponent chooses, chooses two of those cards, shuffle the chosen cards in your library, and put the rest onto the battlefield, and then exile ecological appreciation. Seems pretty powerful. Dark Ritual. That's awesome. Oh, man, look at that. That's a, that's a cool... That's a very cool piece of art there. I like that. Ether Helix. And... A treasure token, and it's different looking than other treasures, so it's cool too. All right, pack number two. Oh yes, this is like the Lorehold Squad. Quintorius, the elephant, locks it on. I'm actually, I actually have this uh, playmat on order because I love it so much. It's the one similar to that anyway. All right. We'll hold campus. Let's see what we get here. Team Pennant. All right. Devastating Mastery. So we got four white and two. You may pay four rather than play the spell's mana cost. If you pay the four, uh, cost is paid, and the opponent chooses up to two non-land permanents they control and returns them to their owner's hands, and then it's destroy all non-land permanents. So it's a big board wipe. Or a board wipe where an opponent can save two things. Um, not bad. It would be cool if it was instant. <laughs> Snakes can veil. Darn it, we already have this one. Uh, Pilgrim of the Ages. And Pest. Alright. So that's my first duplicate <laughs> on, uh, on the spell archive. But the, one I, the first one I got was a... Uh, foil, so I don't know if that counts. All right, sign artwork card. Skip ahead to hey, didn't we already get this one? Shadow Shine Snarl. I thought I did. I did. Darn it. How are you going to get two of the same dual lands? That's annoying. All right, but still cool. And Gross Ball. Darn it. I already got that too. Ah, that pack sucked. <laughs> Sucked in a good way, but it still sucked. <laughs> got two really playable cards, but I didn't want duplicates. I want to get some stuff I don't have yet. Ah, oh, nice. Warhol Dragon. Bell of Marcus. Alright. Alright, there we go. I got the Vine Glimmer Snarl. So I can go in my kicker deck. Because that's 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 my favorite um Simic deck because it makes Simic play at the same speed as everybody else. Defiant Strike. Um, don't have that one yet. Kelpie Guide. And a Pest. Alright. Uh, 
Another Inkling token. Shiny Swamp. Uh, ooh, Letter of Acceptance. What a cool name for a card, by the way. <laughs> oh, no. Let's get another, another copy of a card here. Rush Rebirth. I already saw that one today. But yes, we got Exodus Auric Overlord. He is uh, two black, one white, and one colorless. He's got double strike. Super awesome in, Bor or in uh, Orzov. And he's got main Magecraft. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, return target non-legendary creature card from your graveyard to your hand. But who cares about this side when you have this side? <laughs> Awaken the Blood Avatar. Uh, six mana for... Or six or eight mana for a sorcery. As an additional cost to cast a spell, you may sacrifice any number of creatures. This spell costs two less to cast for each creature sacrificed this way. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Create a 3-6 black and red avatar creature token with haste. And when this creature attacks, it deals three damage to each opponent. So cool. I cannot wait to build this. I love Mardu stuff because uh, I feel like you're fighting an uphill battle. Um, unless you're playing... The one who cheats stuff into play, like Edgar, uh, the, the angel demon dragon girl. But anyway, super excited to build this deck. I'm so happy I got this card. Uh, Thrill of Possibility. Uh, Beaming Defiance. And the Inkling, which we saw earlier. All right. Pretty awesome. It's been a hell of a box. I've gotten like pretty much all the cool stuff that I wanted to get already, um, with the exception of the the, alt, the archive harmonized and the archive faithless looting. So, here's hoping we get those. All right. All right. Sedgemore Witch. She is three mana for a human warlock. She's got menace. She's got ward. Pay three life. And whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, create a 1 1 black and green pest creature token. When this creature dies, you gain one life. Pretty cool. Compulsive Research, also a good card. Uh, three mana, target player draws three cards, then that player discards two cards, unless that player discards a land card. Oh, Whirlwind Denial, another cool card, and it's foil. Uh, three mana for each instant and ability your opponent's control counter, unless this controller pays four. Yep, pretty good. I think this card's still currently in standard from Theros. And our uh, fractal token. Pretty pretty happy with the amount of tokens I've gotten as well too. Uh, if anyone watched my call time opening, I was so pissed off. I didn't got like two dwarf tokens out of three boxes. <laughs> and there's all these cards that make dwarf tokens, and I couldn't make any tokens. I had to freaking order them. All right, artwork. Yes, this is my favorite common I think in the set. Um, this five mana sorcery exile target non land permanent. Its controller draws a card. I I I like colorless spells, um, not so much creatures, but this but the spells just so you can like stick them into decks that you know need help. And uh, this is this is a cool card to stick into any any deck. I, I mean, having a five mana creature removal sorcery in green that doesn't give them a beast token or you know, just as an enchantment that just makes them an 0-4 or something. I think this is cool. Like, let them draw a card in green. Who cares? You know, and you'll have the five mana because you're playing green. All right. What we got? Access tunnel. That's in the land. What's this do? Tap to add one colorless target creature with power three or less. Can't be blocked this turn. Oh, it's like a baby rogue's passage. All right. Multiple choice. Oh, we saw this card already. Uh, all right. There's not a duplicate. Village Rights, yes, I play with this card in every black deck. That's probably my favorite black draw card, actually. Yeah, sack a creature, draw two cards. Instant speed. Attacking creature skip plus one zero to one turn. Alright, let's. And a. I don't know what this is. This is stupid. What is this? Not a token. This is not a token! Not getting as many rares this time around. <laughs> I'm getting, getting the normal amount. <laughs> Which is also okay, because I scored so high on the on the first 10 packs. All right, Efreet Flame Painter, double strike, one four, Efreet Shaman. Uh, whenever Efreet Flame Painter deals combat damage to a player, you may cast target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. 
that that spell would be put into your graveyard exile instead. That's pretty fun. So I'll find a use for that. Abundant Harvest. That's one green. Choose a land or non-land. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a card of the chosen kind. Put that card on into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Okay. Wish that was instant. Explosive Welcome. Eight mana. Deals five damage to any target and three damage to another target and you get three red mana. This is a neat uh, thing they've been doing lately with red cards where, hey, this thing's overcosted, but at the end of the day, you're going to get three mana back to do something else. And somebody's cutting my lawn, I think. Uh, so yeah, this is this is cool. I like I like this way, this direction they're going with um, red as well, on top of the dwarves making tokens or treasure tokens. I think I think they're finally heading in the right direction for a lot of red and white cards um, for commander reasons. Um, I don't really care about standards, so they can keep doing whatever they want to do there. Oh, well, there's a rare right on top. That was weird. Okay, Illuminate History. So it's four mana lesson. Discard any number of cards, then draw that many cards. Then if there are seven or more cards in your graveyard, create a 3-2 red and white spirit creature token. Hmm. Now I'm wondering if I missed some rares earlier. When I was just, like, skipping through these. Well, I guess we'll... we'll I'll go back and find out. Oh, we got the other... The Simic Dual Land again. And another rare. Flame Swirl Celebrant. Whenever an opponent activates an ability that isn't a mana ability, Flame Scroll Celebrant deals one damage to that player. That's kind of cool. I like that. And it's pumpable. And it flippity doos to a Revel in Silence. So two white, your opponents can't cast spells or activate Planeswalker loyalty abilities this turn. Love it. <laughs> the, the, oh, I got a Mythic card I'll never be able to play with. Channel. Uh, <laughs> two green. Till the end of the turn, any time you could activate a mana ability, you may pay one life. If you do, add one colorless. So busted. <laughs> and a non-token token. That sucks. But I got, let's see, a mythic, a rare, a rare, and a rare in that one pack. So I guess I can't really complain. All right, last pack of round two. Some more cool artwork. Let me take a closer look at these cards in the beginning here. Just to make sure there's no rares hidden in there. Oh, yeah, Secret Rendezvous. You and target opponent each draw three cards. I'll actually play with this card. I think this card's cool. Uh, Sparring Regiment. Three mana enchantment. When Sparring Regiment enters the battlefield, you learn. Uh, so this card sucks. Whenever you attack, put a plus one, plus one count on target attacking, or attacking creature and untap it. All right, well, I guess that's okay. That first ability, though, will never get used in Commander. And then the Gate. Study Break. Oh, and the Stony Brook Banneret. I have a bunch of these, but it's cool to get another one. Uh, two mana, Island Walk, 1-1. One, one. Uh, Merfolk Spells and Wizard Spells. You play cost one less to play. I forgot that these were still in the packs, because I didn't see very many in that round, two. The, uh, the, the set cards. Alright, that's it for round two.